as Tesla begins to roll out Model 3 display cars to its showrooms across major markets in the East and West Coast. The Silicon Valley-based electric car maker is making updates to its Model 3 online configurator and gearing up for an expected uptick in pre-orders. Appearing in the newly updated Model 3 design studio is a reference to the highly anticipated all-wheel drive, dual-motor configuration, which is expected to arrive in spring 2018. Currently, buyers of Tesla's mass-market compact sedan can only choose from a long-range edition of the Model 3 in a single-motor, rear-wheel drive configuration. The long-range Model 3, capable of 310 miles of range per single charge, commands a $9,000 premium over Tesla's base Model 3 with standard battery. According to current messaging on the Model 3 online configurator, the 220-mile capable $35,000 base version will be available sometime in early 2018. As noted in Tesla's recent communication that invites the general public to experience Model 3 in select stores, Tesla's sales rep will be on hand to educate interested parties on the benefits of Tesla's dual-motor all-wheel drive system. The email invitation writes, as we continue to enhance our vehicle lineup, you'll also have the opportunity to learn more about our dual-motor all-wheel drive system, now standard for Model S and Model X. Tesla discontinued the Model S 75 with rear-wheel drive last summer, leaving Model 3 as the only vehicle in its fleet that's purchasable in a single-motor configuration. However, recent CARB filings suggest that Tesla might be bringing back the Model S 75 sometime this year. Taking a closer look at code within the Model 3 online configurator and we can see an image of the upcoming dual-motor driver train. While there's no pricing information buried within the code for the all-wheel drive system, one might be able to glean insight from previous upgrade costs for Model S Tesla charged a $5,000 premium to upgrade a Model S 75 to Model S 75D in a dual-motor configuration in early 2017. In addition to adding the dual-motor all-wheel drive selection to the Model 3 design studio, albeit temporarily disabled, Tesla also updated the screens for selecting the interior trim, autopilot and the payment screen. Image and video is screenshots from the Model 3 online configurator. The new 2018 Nissan LEAF has impressed a good number of people enough that they have pre-ordered the electric vehicle, EV. So far, 13,000 people have reportedly given Nissan their vote of confidence in advance of actual availability. The new 2018 Nissan LEAF would be good and would receive a warm welcome. Our initial test drive pleasantly surprised us, albeit too briefly at the Los Angeles Auto Show this past November. Therefore, we were not surprised to see Nissan's new announcement that it has received 13,000 pre-orders so far. What's particularly surprising with that quite high number is that the 2018 LEAF is a sort of stopgap EV in Nissan's lineup. We have heard that next year the company will release an updated LEAF with a range climbing from 150 miles to 225 miles. Add to this Tesla's Model 3 for a little more in terms of dollar and range in the Chevy Bolt and the mix becomes interesting, and quite challenging for a 150 mile LEAF. Competition in the EV category is climbing and the new 2018 Nissan LEAF is certainly a great car for most people, but it was indeed unclear how the car's demand would shape up in the midst of the big transition. We hope Nissan will see the sales numbers it deserves to have with this car, and that pre-order total is a good sign in that direction. Most EVs today have broken the 100 magical mile barrier. Stragglers are left to innovate without reminding drivers of the range limitations. The e-Golf is the closest competition to the new 2018 Nissan LEAF. The cars are different in their characters, though. One thing we hope is that Nissan finds better local companies to show the new LEAF to its current customers. Friends on our street wanted the new 2018 LEAF, 
but after a few no-shows from the local representative, decided to go with the VWE Golf. The 2016 Leaf had a similar problem. We look forward to a near-future extended test drive of the new 2018 Nissan Leaf. The 2018 Subaru Outback is Auto Webspire's choice for best wagon. They miss one important fact about the recreation proposed vehicle. The 2018 Subaru Outback scores the best wagon award in the second annual Auto Web Buyers Choice Awards. It's an award that doesn't express Auto Web's opinion, but it's based on the opinion of the 120 million consumers who visited Auto Web's network of automotive websites. Outback wins for the second year in a row, but they miss one important fact about the recreation proposed vehicle. Even though Outback is more of a crossover SUV vehicle, the 2018 Subaru Outback wins in the best wagon category. AutoWeb says, Outback hits the sweet spot for those who demand utility from their vehicle but still value a drive experience that feels connected to the road. AutoWeb praised Outback for its high-end features, improved connectivity, freshened styling, improved ride quality, smooth, quiet six-cylinder power, four-cylinder fuel economy, spacious interior, sterling safety record, all-wheel drive, and its multi-purpose utility. But they never mention an important off-road feature that sets the wagon apart from all other wagons, crossovers and SUVs. Since the 2015 model year, Outback comes standard with a feature called X-Mode. It can be engaged by simply flipping a switch on the console. How does it work? In a nutshell, X-Mode works in addition to the symmetrical all-wheel drive system to give you even greater traction and control. Subaru X-Mode is a software program engineered to get the Outback up and down extreme terrain. The system uses lower gear ratios to generate extra power at the wheels that have grip, directs power to slipping wheels, intervenes earlier during wheel slippage, and employs hill descent control so you don't need to apply brakes and risk locking them up when headed down steep slopes. Subaru sells more Outbacks than any other vehicle in three states, Colorado, Oregon and Washington. This is where you'll find Outback owners taking the vehicle into the high country for weekend excursions to get away from civilization. X-Mode is the one feature missed by AutoWeb that allows consumers with adventurous lifestyles to go deep into the backcountry. Subaru of America knows that around 30% of Outback owners will take their vehicle off pavement and it's why the 2018 Outback is the only model in their lineup that comes standard with the Extreme feature. Tesla is bringing its newest production vehicle to its showrooms in some East Coast locations for the first time, so that potential, and many actual, customers will be able to check it out in person. The car maker will have Model 3 demo units on display at showrooms in New York, Boston and Miami starting this week, CNBC reports. The Model 3 will be on display in Manhattan's Meatpacking District showroom and the Tesla location on Boston's Boylston Street, per CNBC, as well as in its Miami customer facility. The car, which starts at $35,000 without incentives, is also at Tesla's LA and Palo Alto galleries, but it's still not shipping at the rates that Tesla was hoping it would by this time. The carmaker's most recent shipment numbers show that it had made under 3,000 vehicles in total as of January 1st, way behind its anticipated 5,000 per week target. It's been improving the speed at which it can make the cars, however, and claims to expect to be able to churn out 2,500 per week by the end of the first quarter of 2018. If Tesla can spare a car or two to put in showrooms around the country, that's a good sign that it's catching up on its production queue. Tesla CEO Elon Musk has said previously a few times that the company was essentially anti-advertising the car in the past, 
simply because it had so many pre-orders in the books already and no clear path to general inventory availability for buyers not in the queue.